Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. And if you're already existing, guys, thank you for coming back. So today I'm bringing Valentine's crafts. Now, for Valentine's Day, I tend to decorate a little bit less than I would do throughout the rest of the year. So I love to decorate for Halloween, like autumn, fall, Christmas and Easter. I do like to decorate for, that, decorate? Decorate for Valentine's Day, but I don't tend to go too over the top. And what I do have, I want it to sort of set in with my already decor and with my schemes that I've already got going in my home. So I'm just going to share with you the kind of things that I'm going to be doing and if you'd like to follow along and make some of these crafts with me then that'd be really lovely. Don't forget to grab yourself a nice hot drink, I didn't make myself one. Just had some paracetamol, starting to get a headache again but that's just old story isn't it? That's just like constantly the reoccurring story of my YouTube at the moment. I think it's the weather change. So you grab yourself a nice hot drink and some snacks and let's get in with the video. Now I've just put a little box in front of me just so that you'll be able to see what I'm going to be making in front of me. Now I've got a couple of easy, really easy ones that would be really quite nice to make for your children as well. So one of the first ones um, was these. So I started to make some bunny. Make sure my hot glue gun's actually hot this time. Yeah, it's hot. Got some glue sticks at the ready. Now, when I was going to make this originally, I, lot, I ran out of glue, so I couldn't do it with hot glue and I had to wait for this to set. Now, if anyone remembers, I bought them like Hessian sacks at Christmas time, like the jute material. And I bought, the, I, I cut little triangles out of it and made little rustic bunting. So I cut six triangles out. I just drew a nice triangle shape onto a piece of card. I basically just literally cut down that bit and down that bit, made a nice triangle. And then I drew around the squares so they all ended up the same. Then what I done is I got a nice thick piece of ribbon and I just placed them evenly and glued them onto the back. So on the back, they look a little bit like this. They're just glued on, but they'll look like that. Now, these are really easy. You could even make these with paper if you wanted to with your children. It would be easier to do it with a hot glue gun, like I said. But I really like this. It's rustic. It's still going to match my decor. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing to them. So I thought this would be really lovely. You could even use this if you was going to have like a rustic barn wedding. Now... What I've got here is I've got a little tin of just buttons. Now, you can get buttons anywhere. They do them really, really cheap in the pound shop as well. But I've got loads and loads of buttons. And my idea for this craft is to spell out the words love onto the bunting with the, um, the hot glow and the buttons. So, because I've got six and love is a four letter word, I'm going to do the four in the centre and leave the outside ones and I'll show you what I'll do with them in a minute. So the second one in, I'm going to start doing an L on it. Now you can draw a little outline of an L on this to follow the shape or you can just go freelance, stick them on. Now I've got loads of different coloured buttons, I've got a few circular ones, I've got some love heart shaped ones. I'm going to go and use different shapes, it don't really matter what ones, and with my hot glue, I'm just going to stick some on, starting to make the first bit of the shape. Sorry if I'm talking a bit fast, it's because I've got quite a few crafts to get through today with you. I've got some really cool ones that I'd like to share. And then, so it's really simple, I'm literally just gluing and sticking the buttons down as I go, really, really easy. And we've got our glue through to the to the burlap, it's fine. Make sure you put something like a bit of tin foil or something underneath that doesn't stick. And I've got a little L out of buttons. Now, for the circle, for love, you can use buttons and make a, an O, or you could alternatively use a little rose head as the O. So I think I'm gonna do that just to make it a little bit different. So I got these roses, these are the ones that I used in my hat box um, from Home Bargains. So they're $1.99 for a large bunch of these. And I actually think they're really, really sweet. So we can have L-O. All of my crafts are so, so simple that anybody can do them. They're not hard to make. And I'm just gonna do the V, because we're gonna stick this up in the background so we can kind of see how it's come out, but you can see how quick this craft is. It is super, super quick. It don't take a lot of energy at all. The children could do this, perhaps maybe with not like a hot glow, with a different type of glow, like a less hot one. <laughs> yeah, and 
end. The glow stay is quite um, warm for a little while actually, quite wet for a little while. I'm going to put another little button on the bottom just because I'm going to use a little Disney button. So if you like Disney, I've got little Disney buttons <laughs> to make the V. It does come through to the Jew. So we're getting the love. And we've got the last bit, we've got the E, so we'll do buttons. But you can use anything. To be honest, if you've seen in the pound shop, from my pound shop haul that I'd done yesterday, um, I showed that they had like um, glitter glue sticks in there and they had like these red glitter. You could even draw the word love, like the letters, in the red glitter glue onto these. So you wouldn't even need to buy any buttons. You could just use the glue that you was going to use anyway to stick the buttons on. So you need less items then. Just going really quickly, because like I said, I don't want you to think I'm rushing this, but I am going to be showing you some other little crafts as well. Stuck that bit a bit far away from that one. A bit more hot glow. Hope everyone's having a lovely bit of the week. I'm really excited for the video tomorrow, actually. Can't wait to like, because I've had a few little lovely ideas um, for my like shabby chic home accessories. I can't wait to share them with everyone. So I'm looking forward to that, actually. So where's that? So there, that one. So I've got a bit glue on that. But look. Really, really simple. You can add roses on the empty ones or you can make love heart shapes out of buttons. But I just thought, really quick and easy, country rustic. And if you was doing this for a wedding, you could do white buttons, you could have a white rose or eucalyptus. It would look really beautiful. And you can have that hung up. I'm just doing it to go with the traditional red of um, Valentine's. But I just thought that was really, really cute. So that's just a little quick idea. Also another idea, which is really quick and simple if you want to try something that's a little bit rustic is this. Now this you can also use if you're going to like decorate for a wedding. Now if anyone remembers the frame I bought from the pound shop yesterday as well. Um, Bertie, no. I've got something out now. And it comes with like the little clip bits inside. I've removed it, the backing, took the backing out, so that we're literally left with just this frame. Now, from the range, they've got these really lovely paper mache letters. And so you can pick these up in places like Hobbycraft as well. Um, I'm not sure how much they are from Hobbycraft, but in the range they're a pound each. So I've got an Amber Sand, I've got a G for Gary, and I've got an R for Rosie. And I really like these, rustic as they are. Now, by all means, you could get a little tester pot and paint these, they'd look really cute. I could show you a little quick like, demo so we can see. I'm just using Farron Ball Tester. I got one for a pound um, from b and and this is house white. So I'm just going to rustic these up a little bit. I'm not going to go too, I'm not going to go too neat with them. I want it to look really rustic -y. and I'm going to leave the back in gross. I'm literally just doing the front so make sure you're going it up while I'm going to be doing it like this. I want it quite rustic. I want it to look like kind of like a barn thing. I kind of like to experiment with Valentine's. You could even do these in red if you wanted to. So I've got the G now, which I'm just going to paint up. This is a really simple craft as well. And it's quite nice if you've got a newly married couple and you want to make them one of these. Or you, you know, even if you haven't got an occasion, this isn't for Valentine's, you just want to make one of these to stay up throughout the year. It would look really, really cute. You could apply buttons to the front of this. You could decoupage them with like really lovely um, paper. You can paint the frame in any colour that you want. You can make these look a little bit more expensive and a little bit more like forever lasting. You could spray paint the letters in like gold, the frame in gold. That would look really lovely, make it look really expensive. So we're just roughly painting these. And what I'm going to do with these, again with my glue gun, is luckily enough, these pound shop frames have got quite a thick frame to them and it's luckily really that this is a rectangle so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of my feet of the R and I'm going to position it near the edge standing on the bottom part of the frame so it will stay in there 
I'm going to do the same with my ampersand. This is just to make sure that these are going to stay put. do this in a bigger frame do the letters on a bigger scale would look really really cute and then all I'm going to do to finish this off is everyone knows I love a little bit of eucalyptus I've got like a big bunch from the range for like you can get these they're 2 79 but you can get them in the pound shop as well and all I'm going to do is just glue like some up the edges and the side so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on my eucalyptus I'm just going to glue it on. It looks really country wedding. It looks really cute. Make sure it stays on. And you can do a little bit around the top as well. And yet again, you could even add a few beautiful roses to this at the bottom and it would look really, really cute and rustic. Probably have to get smaller roses for that. Maybe like a bud or something. So you wouldn't necessarily have to use these colours, but this is Valentine's. So I know a lot of you are going for like the more ready type colour schemes and you could just make a really beautiful little sign. How simple is that? G and R, Gar, <laughs> the Gary and Rosie. It's going to look really rustic and just look really pretty on a side. Yeah, I just thought that was really, really cute. That with the bunting, it just all blends in really lovely. Like this ribbon actually, this is from the range, in case you didn't see that video where I was going to make these. And it just all goes really beautifully. But like I say, oh, my body's in the way. As usual. <laughs> So you could sort of like make all these and you could do it in like wedding-y colours that's your theme. You could even you do like mix the buttons, make them multi-coloured. You could have pink instead of red, any colours that you want. Another thing is using the buttons is if you like make your own cards. Now from the pound shop they do these make your own cards, 20 in a packet and you get 20 envelopes. And what I like to do is get my kids to draw a heart on these and stick all the buttons on on the shape of a heart. That looks really nice, but we're not going to have time to do that, but just using the same principle. But today what I am going to use this card for is, is I'm going to cut a heart shape out. Now, at um, Valentine's, I have a Easter tree that I use to put my little mini eggs on it. So I like to repurpose this for Valentine's Day and put little hearts on it. Now, from the pound shop, if you remember my um, pound shop, Chris, turning Christmas present like from the pound shop into expensive looking gifts and there was a sign and you got three of these on it and the sign's 25p now they've got loads of them in there so you could paint these and hang these from the tree they'd look really lovely but what I thought is we can do a few makes and you can get the kids to make these as well so I'm just going to cut out a heart shape now you can draw this on to get like a better shape I'm just going to freehand it watch it come out wrong but it, it really don't matter and because I cut through the two sides of the card, we're going to be left with two pieces. So two hearts. And what I've got from the pound shop is some red wool and some pink wool. I'm going to use the pink to start off first. I think this is really cute. And you can use this principle for Easter as well. You can sort of make egg shapes and do it like the egg versions. I'm just going to cut off a piece of wool. My scissors are a bit blunt. And I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of hot glue on the front of this one piece card just to hold this bit of thread in place oh just to hold my first bit into place and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this wall all the way round try and do it nice and slowly so you can get it nice and neat and you can mix and experiment with these colours you can do whatever colours that you like haven't got to be um, pink or red, or you could mix the colours, make them red, make some red, make some pink, do one half pink, one half red, you could do some white. I'm just going up round all the sides and every time I lose a little bit of wool, I'm just going to tack it down with a little bit of hot glue and then start with another piece of wool. I find it easier to do it like that. I feel like it gets not too bulky then if you do it like that. I'm just going to start again with the wool, bringing it over. I'm going to go quite quickly just so we can see what these are going to look like. They're going to look really cute. Get my wool because we're still wrapped up. <laughs> 
and you're going to need quite a bit, of, I wouldn't say tons of wool for this, but you're going to need a bit more than you probably would expect. You don't have to go as chunky as me, but I feel like then I prefer them to be a little bit chunkier because then they stand out from the tree a bit better. They look a bit more solid. So I find the bottom bit the hardest to go over to get the hearts covered, but we're starting to fill up these hearts. It looks better on my side than the back of this, if I'm honest. What the side that you can see doesn't look as nice as the side that I can see. And I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue on these really hard little bits so that when I do go over it with a wall, it will just stick and it won't slope off the edge. It makes it easier to stay on. And then, so you see what I mean? They're coming out really cute. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue there as well because that really makes the process a lot easier to do it like that. I'm just going to go over the heart now. Oh. Sorry, I get so into these sometimes. I just end up being silent. Mind you, though, I've had a few comments recently where people say I talk too much. It might do you a favour. No, I don't care. I'm not going to stop talking. I can't, it's in my DNA. I am a chatterbox. I physically cannot help it. So, you just have to deal with it, I'm afraid, if you don't like it. Or don't watch. <laughs> right, so we are coming on to a home stretch, right? And what you do is then you've just got like these little hearts. Now, I'm not going to completely finish these because otherwise I won't be able to get onto my next craft, which I just think is really lovely. So I'm going to cut the last piece off and what I'm going to do is going to cut a tiny loop, loop it together like that and on the side that you're not going to see, I'm just going to glue a little bit of hot glue, you're not really going to see this anyway and just glue the loop down as a loop like that and then you can make these in red, you can make them in pink, loads of little wooden hearts and they are going to look adorable all over this Christmas tree. Christmas tree, yeah, all right, Rose, over this Valentine's tree. But the contrast of this bright red and the pink with the white tree is just going to look really lovely. And like I said, at Easter, you can make Easter egg shapes do bright colours. But I'm going to make loads of these, get the kids to make loads, fill up the trees. You could put buttons on the front of these. You could even cut out pieces of card, coat them in like PVA glue and just full on glitter them and hang them from the tree. Loads of different ribbons and beads. It would look really, really lovely. But I want to get on to our next craft because this is one that I really found this thing yesterday. It wasn't going to be in the craft, but I really love it and I thought this would look really beautiful. Not just for now, but all year round. And probably would have fitted in with a shabby chic video yet tomorrow. So in Home Bargains, they've brought out loads of new lovely stuff. And in B&M, they've got very similar to this. Um, but they've got them in like with a pink glass hurricane at the bottom. So this is a candle holder and it's part of the Jeff Banks range that they have in there. And this cost me $3.99. Now it's lovely, it's gold, it's gonna go with my decor in my living room. And it literally is just beautiful on its own. It's got like a little holder for a nice thin candle. Really, really beautiful. But what I thought you could turn this kind of Valentine's or wedding in. Now if you wanna do a wedding on the cheap, look, I'm like, oh, I mean um, like a little halo, angel halo. Um, you could make really inexpensive table scent pieces, or if you've got like a sweetie table, you could like put little bunting in this with like the word sweets, so like how I've done with the love, but put sweets on it and have this at the back of the table. Baby showers, anything, like this is like gonna be such a nice little thing. But what made me think of a rustic table centre piece is, is flowers cost a lot of money, so these are a really cute idea because I'm gonna use this, which is 3.99, and you get to keep after. And I'm gonna use one of my, because this was attached, I've just ripped that off. One of my eucalyptus stems. So you can get these from the pound shop for a pound, but these are the two pounds, 49 or 79. One of them's thicker than the other one. And it is as simple as this. I'm literally gonna get some jute string that I've got. You can glue this on, but I just think to make it a little bit more seamless, I'm gonna get some little jute. And I'm just gonna tie this on. Sorry, I had low battery yesterday, I've done it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna tie this on, nice and tight, and we can cut this down. You're not gonna see this once we load it up. And another little piece. And just making sure that we go in between the leaves so you really won't see the jute once it's 
been tied on. And if you was going to buy something like this, like from TK Maxx or HomeSense, talking about 20 quid, it's going to cost you about five pounds to make. So, and now they're tied up, I'm just going to cut the the bits, the excess bits of jute off. Like I say, if you do it between the leaves, you won't really see it. So we've got some more. I don't know where my pliers are. I will apologise for that. I just sheer ripping. So now we've got it out to the edge. I want to add a little bit more on the bottom. So because it's metal wired, I probably can just twist it around the centre. Excuse me, you're not licking my eucalyptus monkey. Should have put my little um what they called little clippers in what my pliers. See if I can snap this on my own without needing the pliers. If you bend it enough times it snaps, yeah. And then I've got my other piece. So we haven't tied that other little piece on. I'm gonna do that because it won't bend in on. So I'm just gonna tie this little piece on yet again going through the leaves. Making sure to tie it on. Bertie, what are you doing? What are you doing? You can't have that. No, you can't. Oh. And then we're going to do the other side. These are bendy, so try and bend them up a little bit as well as you go round. And I'm just going to tuck that bit under, under that side so that you can't really see that bit. Oh, push it underneath very easy. Don't go on that bit, that's it. There we go. Another little piece of jute to tie this up. And this is just gonna look so cute. Like this is so up my street, this kind of thing. It's like that boho, luxe sort of like look. I love it. And I'm gonna tie it on here and I will tie it again at the bottom as well, just to make sure it stays secure. Trim them. And I will do that bit as well, but I'll do that in a minute. So also, when I've done my Christmas wreath, I bought some roses from the range. Um, you can wrap these round a little bit, make it a little bit more stand next to it, or you can just tie them, which I probably will do. I've got a bunch of roses. Now they were £2.70, I believe, again, and you've got like three of these on them. And I just thought one of those roses, I took it off my Christmas tree one now anyway, my Christmas tree, uh, my Christmas tree, my Christmas wreath. I'm just gonna pop that off because I use these so you can buy these separate or you can get the ones for 2 99 from um, Home Bargains but I got these from the range these were put repurposed from when I done my Christmas wreath so they haven't cost me anything extra I've already used them at Christmas and I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue on the back of these and I'm just going to pop a few on I'm not putting them on the actual metal just onto the eucalyptus just a few of these onto the leaves and I just think with the gold they just look so expensive if you're going to have like a winter wedding with a red theme that red just looks absolutely stunning for Valentine's Day once that's got a candle in the middle that's going to look gorgeous but if you want to do this rustic and you want to do it with like white roses or lilies or bright coloured flowers it's equally just going to look so beautiful you could go the whole way around this with eucalyptus you could perhaps I don't know if this is too hard, maybe even try and bend this into a heart shape. I'm not too sure if it would bend, I don't really want to do it in case I snap it on camera and it flicks in my eye or something like that. But $3.99 with the extra £2 for the eucalyptus if you are going to spend that or you could go pound shop and get it. So you can spend a fiver and make little indoor wreaths. You can even go foraging in the garden and get some nice bits that you want. I also wanted to mention that you don't have to have one of these Easter trees. If you don't already have one of these, you don't have to go out spending money. What I also like to do is just to get a standard jug, what I have, get a few sticks from the garden, cut them to all like similar length, put them all in the jar and just hang all the hearts from the sticks. That's a really nice country idea as well. I tend to do that in my upstairs toilet, like my bathroom. I think that looks quite nice. I'm getting like the little sticky fringe again. So, I hope you've enjoyed this Valentine's craft. I've tried to cram in as many as I can in like the 25 minutes that I've been on. So I've been Rosie Henshaw. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up. Thank you again for all the lovely messages. Really do appreciate it. And I'm doing my Shabby Chic home accessories tomorrow. I'll be doing that. So take care. 
Bye. Have a lovely rest of your week. Bye.